DJ Pro AI music video tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, we're gonna talk about it. All right, so DJ Pro AI has an amazing video mix feature, and within this video mix mode, we could be DJing with music videos right there inside the DJ app. So to get started, there's a couple of additional hardware pieces that you're gonna need, which is one of these, this is an adapter. It goes into USB-C and then it has an HDMI port. I would recommend getting one that would charge the iPad so your iPad obviously doesn't die. There will be links down below. Uh, next thing you're gonna need is just a high quality HDMI cable and then you could plug the HDMI cable into your adapter. And if I could find which side it goes. You plug your HDMI into your adapter, your adapter into your iPad, and then make sure there's enough USB so you could plug in a controller if that's how you want to DJ. And then now we are all we are all set uh, as far as setup is concerned. And this video is for the iPad Pro with the USB-C connection. I believe that's the only way to connect your iPad into the TV for video mix. So that's how we're gonna do it. All right, now this is the screen that you're gonna see when you first open the app. The, you, this is not the screen that we're gonna use for video mix, but I just wanna show you um, the effects. So inside video mix, we are, you could use, there's, these are our audio effects. If we go over here, so we're pressing this mixer button down here on the left, then we're going to effects. We're just gonna click on one of these effects. And these are our audio effects. These will be effects just for the audio. And then these are video visual effects. There's all these effects that is only going to affect the visuals. It's not going to affect the sound of the song. And then these are audio and visual effects. So you could use these audio visual effects to do some really great transitions with music videos. All right. So to get to video mix mode, we're going to press this round button up here. Boom. And then we got Classic Pro, Looper, Auto Mix, One Deck, Four Deck. All the way at the end, we have video mode. So now we are in video mode, and it is going to look pretty similar to pro mode. This is pro mode. This is video mode. The difference is, instead of jog wheels, we are going to have these screens. You could still use them to scratch by moving them forward and back. It's the same thing as moving a jog wheel or a waveform. And now you're probably asking yourself, uh, Justin, where are we gonna get these music videos from? Great question. So we're gonna go over here. Let me just reset it. When you press over here on your music selection button, you're gonna click here. And then right now we're in my collection. These are your the user created playlist, your own personal playlist within this app. And then down here we have our sources and we have a couple of streaming services. Now, I use the streaming service title, and the good thing about the streaming service title is you could stream music videos directly into the DJ app. So that's what we're gonna do. I recommend if you don't have title subscription, maybe try a maybe try the free trial or something. And I would definitely recommend it as the best streaming service for the DJ Pro AI app. So we go over here into title, and then down here to the left is gonna be our playlist. Um, these are the playlists that you made inside the title app. It's different than your playlist inside the DJ Pro AI app, which is here in my collection. And then you could you got playlist, explore, video, match, and queue. We're gonna go to videos. Now we are in video mode, and then you could choose by genre. So if you if you plan on DJing a certain genre like electronic or rock, you could get ideas and find some music videos this way. Another another way is they have new ones. So if you're trying to be a DJ that always has the newest stuff and want to have the newest music videos, this is a great place to start. It has all the newest music videos. And then you could also, they have staff picks. The people that work there have picked out some videos that they think you might like. And then exclusive. These are videos that are only available on the title app. So, and then you could also search. So let's say you, you were looking for you are looking for a song. Let's just do 50 Cent for this example. So we search 50 Cent, and then we scr scroll down. This is songs, and then down here is videos. 
So we can load up one of these videos and now it is loaded up into our right deck and we could start DJing right away with the music video. What we could also do is we could add it to a playlist. So we're gonna add to playlist. We're gonna make a new one, playlist folder. So we're gonna do music videos. And now we'll go down here to music videos and now we're gonna make a playlist inside this folder. So inside the music playlist videos, let's just do hip hop add. So now we'll go back to our song. So we got in the club by 50 cent. You're gonna press these three dots over here. Then you're gonna go add to playlist and then you're gonna find the playlist that you made, music videos. And then we're gonna add it there, hip hop. So now if we exit out and we go to our personal playlist, which is over here, my collection, scroll down to music videos. Now, and then we go to hip hop and there we go. We have a playlist of our music videos. So you could go, uh, I suggest you take your time. Playlists are the most important thing as a DJ. So you could make a playlist of a hundred, maybe even 200 hip hop music videos that you could use when you're do doing a gig, when you're having people over your house or whenever you want, you have all these music videos that you personally selected ready to go. So let's just go back to title. Then over here on the next deck, let's just, um, let's do a Kesha song. So you just type in Kesha, Kesha and then we go show all videos, Kesha. Um, and we'll do this one, TikTok. So we have two music, that wasn't a music video, those are songs. Show all videos, all videos. And then we got blah, blah, blah. So there we go. We got the music video and it's the music video for the song. So now we have two music videos together. So as you can see, when you're DJing with these music videos in this video mode, you have access to basically the same exact thing, minus the jog wheels, minus the waveforms, the same exact thing as Pro Mode. So if you've been using the app for a while and you're familiar with Pro Mode, you could easily DJ the same way. You have your mixer here, you have your volume control, you have your filters, you have everything you need. You just don't have the waveforms. So you could either memorize the waveforms or you could DJ with different types of transitions. So a couple of very easy transitions that you could do is, is one, you could do echo. So you just find a part of the song over here. We'll just use like the end of the song and then we're just gonna echo it in to the beginning of the song. So here, watch how the music video is gonna transition. I'm gonna do it without the volume. So. So we do this audio video echo over here. Boom, audio video echo. It echoes the song out. And then the next song starts. So that's a very easy one if you know how to do, if you know how to do echo out with, uh, as a regular transition with songs and not videos, then you'll be able to do this one. The audio video, video echo looks really cool. They also have a strobe, which is audio and vis video, and it kind of strobes it. That's a great way to do transition or to add an effect while you're DJing. And then they have they have reverb, which is the same reverb effect as if you're using the regular audio effect, but it will work and it'll change what it looks like on the screen. And then um, let me just show you guys a couple of the cool audio only effects. So we're gonna go over here to visual I mean visual only effects. So we're in visual, visual effects. We have grid EQ, which is gonna make a grid at the bottom with the EQ. It looks really cool. Um, they got the mosaic one. So it kind of scatters it up. 
really cool effects, and it's a really good way to um, provide something more than just music at your gigs. You're an audio and video entertainer, and you could set up packages where you could charge more for a video than you would for just an audio setup. And people in 2023 have a, have a really short attention span, so to keep their attention longer using vid visual, using music videos, uh, really helps uh, keep the crowd happy and entertained. Uh, you you got to do a little bit more than just play music these days. So if you found value in this video, give it a like. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. And if you uh, want to learn more about DJing with the iPad and the future of DJing, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.